<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody right to another Facebook Friday. It's Frilici Friday. I am Amy Frilici and we are here to have some fun today as we do on every Facebook Live, on every Frilici Facebook Friday, right? So what are we playing with today? Oh my gosh, we have some good stuff and it, well, let me just show you. We are going to be playing with the changing leaves bundle and let me tell you what based on how warm it is here today in michigan i am kind of like looking forward to fall a little bit too so part of it is there's no ac in this house i have like units um so like i work out upstairs in my m den and so i turn the ac on in there because Otherwise, it's just like swelteringly hot, but trying to get ready for Facebook Live today. Oh my gosh, I am like, whoo. All right, so yeah, so we're looking forward to fall in a couple ways around here in this household anyway. So yes, yeah, so we are playing with, so this bundle is awesome too. It has a stamp set, it has a set of dies, and it has an embossing folder. Now I will tell you, of course, after I uh, put these projects together, hopped on the inventory status report and realized that this little baby, the embossing folder is on back order which means and these come together so the dies and the embossing folder are a package so right now you can't get the dies and embossing folder you can get the stamp set or if you want to wait and get the bundle just give it a couple weeks so kind of you know bummer because I'm showing you guys this stuff but just put it on your list and soon enough you'll be able to order these things so let me show you this is again the changing leaves stamp set this is an online exclusive also so you won't find this in the holiday mini catalog that actually kind of sort of launched um, this week we are able as demonstrators to see um, the digital version of the holiday mini catalog online on the Stampin' Up! website another reason if you're not a demonstrator buy that starter kit you can actually get things out of the holiday mini catalog starting next week i think it's wednesday the 6th as demonstrators we can order or again get the starter kit starting on wednesday and you can get fun products out of the holiday mini catalog however this is an online exclusive so technically it's available right now it's not part of the mini catalog so it's already available so fun sentiments we'll check out actually the leaves right aren't those they're very very pretty like beautiful very distinct too like when I stamp this baby I'll show you when we play with this later um, I used an early espresso ink and it was like wow that is a powerful stamp when you use a dark ink like that okay so sentiments you are amazing in every single way and these are pretty tiny so I'm like squinting to read these how about this one it says here for you can you guys read that um, we also have I couldn't have done it without you a thank you and a little note to brighten your day so awesome stamp Stamp set. It's interesting. I'm not seeing anybody. Is anybody so sorry? That's like going right in. Um, I'm not seeing like, there we go. Swipe left to reveal. So swipe left. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, that's right. Okay, so I think I did. Yeah. So I'm just not seeing. I've got like people popped on, but I'm not seeing any comments. There we go. Okay, good. Good morning, Miss Bonnie. Hello. Okay, there. It was almost like I had to like activate it or something. Okay, so Bonnie, Vina, Susan, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you guys all for joining us. There, now they're like scrolling. And Jamie, hello. How is your son doing? I think it was last Facebook Live. He had gotten his wisdom teeth out. Hopefully he's recovering from that doing okay my kids both got their wisdom teeth out and neither one of them they didn't do like the laffy gas or whatever any of that stuff so you know people like post those funny videos of their kids like being like all silly my kids did not experience that really a good quick easy recovery so that was wonderful for them and I'm glad to hear your son is doing well too so okay so back to okay this is so cool this embossing folder um can you see so it um, well, the cool part is the dies actually coordinate with this embossing folder. So actually, let me show you those. So here's the full set of dies. Also very cool because they've got some labels. They've got like a big label, little baby label, a circle label, some leaves, and then this baby right here, this one. So like they have done in the past, if you guys can see. So you can emboss, right? It's beautiful. But the super cool thing is... This guy, I hope it's got to go this way right here. It fits right in 
the embossing folder. So you'd put your paper in between the embossing folder and this die, and it will die cut and emboss when you fold this up. And we are gonna play with this later so you'll be able to check that out. But isn't that so cool? Uh, just um, beautiful, love. It was funny because we used um, these products on our make and takes for our meeting um, last month and people were laughing. They're like, you know, we really don't need another stamp and leaf die set, but it comes with that awesome embossing folder. So we probably do <laughs> need it. So yeah, funny how that works, right? You're like, oh, I have enough of that. And then they put some cool new feature in and you're like, oh, I guess I got to have that one now too. So anyway, I will show you guys all the fun features of those products in just a little bit when we do our stamping. Okay, oh, the other thing too is we are using, let me show you guys, this is the Country Woods, oops, oh boy, I knocked right into my water bottle there. Okay, we're all as good in the land again. Um, okay, so Country Woods and, or, um, <laughs> Country Woods Designer Series Haver. That's what we're talking about here. Okay, so here is front and back. I don't even have full sheets anymore because I've used so much of this paper. But here's front and back of one side, uh, or one, one half, right? So there's front and back of those. And then, because <laughs> this is the most popular piece, that stripey one, right? So here's the three more sheets. And if I can fan this out a little bit more front and back of those as well. So I'll show you guys those again when we flip the camera down. But awesome set of designer series paper as well. And as I'm looking at my little notes right here, it turns out, so August 6th is a big day in Stampin' Up! land around here because that's next Tuesday too. So today's the second, next week Tuesday is the sixth. Designer Series paper from the annual catalog is on sale, again, starting next Tuesday, December 6th. So for example, that Country Woods Designer Series paper that we're gonna play with in just a little bit, on sale, 15% off. We have, I've got this flyer right here too. So you guys can kind of see there are all of those. And those, I will read the names. I think it's pretty much all of the paper in the catalog, um, in the annual catalog. So we've got Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper, Countryside Inn, and those are carryovers from last year. Country Lace, Country Woods, that's what we're using. Full of Life, Lily Pond, Mediterranean Blooms, Perennial Lavender is another carryover from uh, the mini catalog, the spring mini. Um, Take to the Sky, Thoughtful Journey to Market, Unbounded Beauty, Wildly Flowering and Winter Meadow is another one. I think that carried over from the holiday mini catalog last year, that Winter Meadow. That is that beautiful um, kind of frosty, meadowy, floral-ish, winter floral, I would say, um, paper. So again, I'll show you guys these when we flip the camera down, but 15% off starting on uh, August 6th, Designer Series Paper Sale. So keep that in mind. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, 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 so July was bonus days, right? So make sure if you earned any bonus day coupons, you have the whole month of August to use those coupons. So make sure you get your order in before August 31st, because I think those like aren't valid after August 31st, okay? So keep that in mind, use your bonus day coupons. Again, by the end of this month, August 31st, we've got a while, you know, it just started, right? August just started yesterday. So we're not gonna like rush it, right? The temperature could good come down a little bit, which I think it's supposed to like maybe Monday this week. It's hot, hot, hot. It's like 90 degrees around here. Um, where do you find out how many coupons you have? Well, Susan, for each order that you entered, they would have emailed you a bonus day coupon. So you should have been getting email from Stampin' Up. Um, so you're gonna wanna check whatever email address you have on file. Um, those coupons were emailed to you directly from Stampin' Up as soon as you put an order in all throughout the month of July. So I've been, you know, as I've been putting orders in, I've been getting those in July and then I just have um, a, a separate folder that I keep those like, you know, coupon kind of things in. So you're gonna wanna call Stampin' Up if you did not get an email. Um, you had to spend $50 um, on product. So for $50 in product, um, then you, um, Got a bonus day coupon. And Robin is just saying maybe check your junk or spam folder as well. 
um, to see if you um, got those coupons there instead. So, but you should have, but, uh, but again, only if you, so if you ordered like $49 and 50 cents in product, you didn't get a bonus day coupon. So keep that in mind too. So yeah, Susan, you're going to want to call Stampin' Up um, and find out what's going on with those. So, and if that's the case with anybody else, um, that's what you need to do. You call 1-800-STAMP-UP and um, ask them for uh, info on your bonus day coupons. They should be able to look at your orders. And hello, Miss Patty Weed from rainy Western New York, huh? Yeah, you know, interestingly enough, that I think is part of my problem um, around here is um, I thought it was gonna rain last night here in Michigan too, and so I closed my windows because I don't like it to feel too damp. Um, I don't think we got any rain, so that would have helped cool things down a little bit in here too. So um, yeah, and Bonnie, same thing. If you didn't get an email from Stampin' Up! about your orders, you're gonna wanna give them a call, okay? Because they should be able to get that straightened out for you. All right, um, let's see what else do we have going on? Oh, well, like I said, we can, I think I basically already mentioned that, but holiday mini catalog. And as demonstrators, we should be getting those um, mini catalogs in the mail, like anytime now, I keep like checking my mailbox. Um, it's funny, cause there's one team member, like not too far away, a few miles down the road. She always seems to get hers way earlier than the rest of us. Um, so I'm waiting for Jenny, when you watch uh, Facebook Live, I'm waiting for you to post that you got your mini catalog. And then I know a couple days later, I'll get mine too. So hopefully sooner than later, because um, I love to be able to flip through that catalog before I put my order in the pre-order. Again, as demonstrators, we can order starting next Tuesday, August 6th. Or again, buy that starter kit and you can get holiday mini catalog product then too. If you need a mini catalog, um, let me know. I will be ordering those on August 6th as well, so then I can get those sent out to you. For customers, um, you can start ordering, I think it's September 1st or very beginning of September, the sales period will start on those um, holiday mini catalog products. So that will be very exciting. Okay, um, let's see. We are going to do our first drawing. These are the uh, Pearl, what are these called? The Adhesive Backed Pearl Trio. Um, and you can see they are beautiful, like kind of shimmery, sparkly pearls, three different colors. I would say kind of a purple, a gray, and like a pinky, reddish orange maybe. I'm sure there are technical Stampin' Up! color names, um, but that's what I'm calling them. So your name is in my handy dandy little Stampin' Up! basket right here. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, one entry, I love your shares. So please share this video whenever you're watching, whenever that is, if it's now, if it's a day from now, it's if it's a week from now, I truly appreciate you sharing this video. Um, if you share it to a group that you're part of, you get five entries in this drawing. If you posted a picture of a project that you made to our Facebook group, you have an entry in this drawing. Um, what else? Oh, I picked one random post. If you commented on that post, uh, and I'll give you a little hint. Um, I'm loving the sharing of projects that people are doing, so I'm tending to pick one of those posts. And if you comment on somebody's project that they posted, that's kind of the ones I've been picking lately. I won't say it's always going to be the one, but comment, 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 and your name could be in here as well. And then also, if you sign up for my email list, your name is in here too. So I have some new email subscribers and I appreciate that as well. Keeps you updated on everything going on. All right, so here we go. One lucky winner will receive these Pearl Adhesive Backed Trio. And I have two of them in my hand and I'm whittling it down to one. <laughs> Vina, she's such a good sharer of the videos and posting. So thank you for all of your posting and your sharing, Miss Vina. Congratulations, I will get these pearls sent out to you. All right, um, let me get these dumped out so we can be ready for the next one. And okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which I always like to let you guys know, it's gonna be two weeks from today. So I think, yeah, that puts it like at the middle of the month. I'm already like going ahead to September, but it's still, it's barely August. So today's the second. So August 16th, our next Facebook Live will be, and we are gonna give away, and these little babies are on like back order, unorderable right now. These are the, Adhesive backed dappled dots. So this is what we'll give away 
on our next Facebook Live. Again, share this video. Hello, Miss Deb. She pops on and says hello, and she shared this video. So Deb's name is going to be in the drawing for these little daffle dots on our next Facebook Live. Also, again, don't forget, post a picture of a project, which Deb is also very good at doing. Um, comment on uh, posts on our Facebook Live and sign up for my email list. You could win the cute little, I love these, the little dappled dots. Yes, I'm glad you like those gems, Miss Deb. Um, but yeah, because you guys can kind of see they're like a little crackly, crackly, like, I don't know, etching kind of in them, I'd say. So, okay. Um, I would also like to give a huge congratulations to Miss Teresa Hinchman. She is one of our current Inkspired Stamper team members, and she just promoted to silver, which is a big deal. She needed $3,600 in rolling 12-month sales, which she got those, and then she also needed one new team member. So that combination of $3,600 in sales and one person to buy the starter kit through her got her a promotion to silver. So congratulations, Miss Teresa. She receives from me, I have um, these beautiful charm necklaces that I give to everyone when they promote to Bronze Elite, put a couple charms in there so she gets a couple more charms for her charm necklace. And then she also gets a $75 shopping spree from me as well from Stampin' Up. She starts earning a 2% product bonus. So the cool thing about that is Stampin' Up basically pops into kind of your first demonstrator order a credit that you can use based on your sales and that's every quarter, so from the previous quarter. So for example, we're in the third quarter right now, so we have July, August, September, so beginning October, she'll get a 2% bonus in product based on her sales. So then she can get free stuff with it, basically. So congratulations, Miss Teresa, that was very exciting to see that happen for you. Um, what I have, a couple more announcements. Bingo, we have bingo coming up and that is gonna be a couple weeks from now on Thursday, August 15th. We play bingo live, bingo, we stamp, we do make and takes and we play bingo. So, so much fun, right? We play six games of bingo, your prizes are fun new product. Um, oh, and Deb is so sweet. Yes, she's saying thank you. <laughs> Several birthday cards to make this month. Yeah, so Deb's a great sharer and poster right here on our Facebook group, which Deb, I truly appreciate that, all of the sharing for all the fun projects that you're making. Um, and then um, she's saying thank you to everybody for commenting on her beautiful cards that she shares, which is awesome. I love to see that kind of connection and conversation and camaraderie amongst um, people within our group. Even if you've never met, it's like you feel like you have this group of friends online right here on our Stamp Studio Facebook group. So love to see that for sure. Um, okay, so back to quick announcements. Bingo, we have Bingo live here again. Thursday, August 15th. It's $35 to come and hang out and play six games of bingo plus a grand prize cover all game. Um, make some cute make and takes. I always give you a fun um, little goodie bag of stuff as well as a thank you for coming. RSVP and payment are actually due by this Monday, August 5th though. So kind of getting the word out there, trying to get some last minute RSVPs. We have room for lots and lots of people to come play bingo with us. And then also we have our next Simple Beauty Beautiful card class where we make four cards at class and that is next Friday the 9th from 1 to 3 p.m. Both of those events are held at the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma. So if you're interested, let me know. I've been posting and sharing about those, um, but comment right on here, email me, let me know if you are interested in joining us for either or both of those fun events. Okay, um, so I think we are ready to do our next drawing. We have, so I always love to say thank you for an order. So if you ordered through me and used the last host code, you're gonna get both of these projects that I made on our most recent Facebook Live featuring that beautiful Under the Moon stamp set. So automatically receiving both of these cards as a thank you from me. If you ordered at least $50, you get to pick from either, so last month's um, free embellishment was actually the Dapple Dots 
or the PDF tutorial. So either one of those you get to pick from. And your name is in the drawing to win the beautiful Changing Leaves stamp set, which is that stamp set that we are gonna play with in just a little bit. So we have a couple of entries in here. You guys know I always say this, that I don't get too many online orders. So your odds are always really good of winning this drawing if you order through me. So I'm maybe not like some of the other demonstrators that get hordes and hordes of online orders. Um, so yeah, like I said, your chances are really good and I truly appreciate your orders through me. So, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick, we have, I'll make sure I only have one in my hand. Yes, I do, okay. And the lucky winner, aha, uh -huh, is Miss Roxanne Harrington. So what you guys don't know is Miss Roxanne is what basically made this all possible. She was the first person that I ever stamped with. Um, she actually used to hold classes. Um, we used to, I think it started out as a scrapbook class um, way back when, when I, my kids were young and it was like a great fun night out with like moms, adults, kind of away from my kids who were like a little bit nutty at the time. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations to Miss Roxanne. You are the winner of the Changing Leaves stamp set. So congratulations. I will put this out on the porch for you along with your two free cards and she picked the free embellishment too so i'll have all that out for you to pick up and then everybody else will also get the two free cards everybody which I, that's one other person <laughs> um get the two free cards and either the free embellishment or pdf tutorial but depending on what she picked Okay, I think that's it. Oh, but what I do wanna show you guys is my project for August in the PDF tutorial. So again, if you order through me, this month I'm going to give away, free embellishment is the 2023, 2025, these are called, I always have to look down, the Opaque Sparkle Dots. I promise I'll give you a full pack. This is all I have right now because they're on order. But we've got our um, last year's in colors that are good through the rest of this Stampin' Up! year as well. So you can pick from the free embellishment or the 16 Project Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. You can see lots of beautiful projects in there, right? This is my project that I, oops. That's funny, the U, is that supposed to be crooked? Maybe it is, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, it's kind of crooked, but maybe I put it on there like that. I don't know if it fell. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so you can pick from the PDF tutorial featuring this project or the free embellishment, and then you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. Plus, your name also goes into the drawing to win, the iconic imagery stamp set, which, kind of cool and I didn't even realize this. If you guys can see here, there is the Celebrate and You from this stamp set. I used it on that card. So there's the Celebrate and where's the You right there. <laughs> backwards, it's a little hard for me to tell too, which is not backwards for me, so I have no excuse. But yes, so order through me and your name will go in the drawing to win this iconic imagery stamp set. It is a great stamp set. This this Celebrate alone is my absolute favorite. I think you're gonna see it on just about every project, every other project that I make. I love that grateful too, right? Something about that fun kind of jaunty cursive font that they used. Um, on those words. And then the other images are super cute too. There's a set of dies that will cut these images out and then it's got some labels also. So, okay. Let me, we're gonna just kind of scoot all this stuff. All right, I think, let me just double check my notes, but I think we are ready. Yeah, right? Because I talked about, if I didn't, I'll talk about it when I flip the camera down, right? Okay, so. Turn your heads away. Actually, I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water here real quick. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I'm cooling down a little bit. <laughs> I'm always, you know, I'm always like a little bit worked up to start Facebook Live, but you know, then it's like we ease into things, all is good in the land. Okay, now, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. And, yep, I got my ceiling fan on because it's definitely needed today. I think we're okay there. All right, so we're gonna flip the camera down. I'm going to get this thing lined. Oh boy! <laughs> okay, apparently that wasn't in. Hold on, I'm gonna use my shoulder. Kind of get that. Okay. Boy, where is my treble? Sorry, and I did, I did actually check this, so this is kind of surprising me. And my phone isn't any, whoops, heavier. 
than it ever used to be. So, okay, what is going on here? Hold on. There. Okay, I think I got it in there tighter. Okay. Sorry if you saw my shoulder. <laughs> it's the only, it's, I needed one more hand, really, to, um, let's see. There we go. It was like it wasn't focusing very well. Okay, I think we're good now. I do want to scoot this over a little bit more, though, so that kind of helps me know if I'm, like, in center or not. Okay, so there's that, right? Okay. Here we go. Our new host code for August is the JMSBWHBS. Okay? So that's the host code you're going to want to use to order and get your name in the drawing to win that beautiful, not beautiful, I guess, well, it's more fun, I would say. The fun, jaunty, so here's your celebrate and grateful, and then you can build more sentiments. Um, I know, they are shining on it, aren't they? <laughs> yes, so yeah, we're just all shiny, shiny, shiny around here, aren't we, Miss Susan? Okay, so which card do I wanna do first? What did I decide? I honestly can't. So we're going to just go with this one first. Yeah. Okay. Get my glasses out. Oh, you know what I will do too? Let's, um, in case you guys need to see these things right here, right? Okay. So here is the designer series paper sale. If you can see, we have bright and beautiful countryside in country lace, country woods, full of life, lily pond, Mediterranean Blooms, Perennial Lavender, Take to the Sky, Thoughtful Journey, To Market, Unbounded Beauty, Wildly Flowering, and Winter Meadow. Basically, all of the paper in the annual catalog on sale, 15% off. There we go. Can you guys see that now? August 6th through the 31st. Okay? So keep that in mind. We are again using, and let me show you that one more time, too. The beautiful country woods. This was one that was I think, kind of unorderable for a little while, but it's back in stock, able to be ordered. So that's one side, um, some mini pieces. So I got to kind of spread this out a little bit more so you guys can see. And then there's the other side of the designer series paper as well. Awesome. Love. I always love that wood grain paper. Very pretty. Oh, the other thing I want to show you guys, and I think I showed you this last week or last time too, but this is another card. So this was the mystery project that we made at our meeting um, a couple weeks ago, our Inspired Stampers, our team meeting, but this also features that Changing Leaves bundle. So here is, can you guys see all the texture? So that is the die and embossing folder on both of those. We actually also use the Country Woods Designer Series paper. I kind of even forgot about that. And then there we go, right? So we've got the You Are Amazing in Every Single Way. I couldn't have done it without you. So beautiful card. This is not the one we're going to make today, but I wanted to show you guys this so that you can see um, all the fun that you can have with that stamp and die and embossing folder bundle. Okay, so those are underneath here. So this is the card we are going to make today, right? I'm glad that you like those. Deb says the cards, uh, colors are absolutely beautiful. Hello, Miss Linda. Thanks for joining. No worries. Uh, join anytime that you can. And then here's the inside too. So I'll show you because I, when you die cut these um, images, you kind of get a few leaves. So I put the other, the, one of the smaller leaves on the inside there too. Okay, so here we go. You can kind of see like that's all that's die cut with that big die, right? So you're like, might as well use the other things too. Okay. Let's see. We got this and this and this. All right, let me tell you about things here. What do we need? Let's give you some measurements first. <laughs> Yes. Okay, Deb, I'll put you down. Do you want me to get it ordered for you? I can do that starting on uh, August 6th and it'll be 15% off. If you're interested, just let me know and I can get that ordered for you, Miss Deb. Okay, so here we go. We have, uh, I'm going to scoot that out of the way there too. I think you guys can see, right? Okay. Um, 
So here we go. This is a piece of thick white cardstock. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there is kind of the beginning of our card. Here is that awesome wood grain. Love that, right? That pretty kind of turquoise. I think it's pool party. Um, kind of seems coastal cabana to me also. Four by five and a quarter inches. That's going to be the layer right there. And then I think we just have some pieces of pool party, um, our designer series paper, and then some basic white and some basic beige kind of for... Where did, oh, maybe that's not on this one. I'm not using basic beige here, am I? Okay, forget that. I think that's supposed to be on the other one. We'll see. Or maybe maybe I thought I was going to use it and I didn't. Oh, and then, yeah, so I've got a couple strips, maybe just in case I <laughs> things don't go well for me. Yeah, because that leaf goes on the inside. Okay, so let's do our stamping. We're going to use our pool party ink that, of course, coordinates with our pool party cardstock. So let's scoot those. All right, so... This one is the You Are Amazing in Every Single Way. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down, lift straight up. There we go. You are amazing in every single way. Okay. Oh, yeah, we did. So here we go. That's why I have this basic beige, those little spriggy guys right there. Okay. All right. So we are going to do some die cutting now. We need this and this out of the way. Scoop that there. Yeah, so we need this and this and this for our die cutting, right? Okay, put that up there so I kind of know what I'm doing, right? All right, let's grab the die cutting machine. Let's do these leaves first, okay? Oh, those are right here, aren't they? Okay, so again, this was backwards last time, wasn't it? These are all of the dies that come in this Changing Leaves bundle. So the labels, we're going to use this one for our sentiment. And we're actually going to use this one for our little spriggy guys here. Okay, and then we're going to use this big guy right here on our designer series paper. I am going to see, I need two spriggy things now that I think about it. So I'm going to try to... Put one on here. There we go. We're going to do one with this run and one with the next one, and that should work. Okay. There we go. Everything looks good. Okay, we're going to crank this baby through. All right, let's see what we've got here. Yeah. Okay. So here's our first little. Where did he go? <laughs> there he is. So there's one of our little spriggy guys. We're gonna cut one more of those. Okay, and check out these, right? Okay, so here's our big leaf. Isn't that so cool? I just love that on the wood grain. And this was the other one we're gonna put on the inside of our card. And then this one right here, we will save and use for another project. Do you guys have like little piles like that? I have a little <laughs> a little pile of all of those things that I, you know, I, I use them too. They come in handy when I need a quick little something. I'm like, oh, that's what I'm going to use that for. Okay, so this goes here, that goes there. We're going to put that thing on there. And then I need, let's see, is that going to fit? I think we can make this work, right? Do this. We are going to use one of our deckled circles here's the little spriggy let's use that one there too okay so deckled circles dies we're going to use this one looks like one two three four five it's like the sixth largest circle so this is one with kind of like the little ripped kind of looks like ripped edges i'd say okay so here we go you are amazing in every single way that and that and that. Okay. Crank this one through. And here we go, ladies. One more little spriggy guy. Okay. That worked. 
perfectly, right? Let's get that one out of the way. Okay, here is our sentiment. Love the stitching. I just cannot get enough of the stitching around the edges. And, and then here we go with our big uh, deckled circle as well, right? Okay, so let's, let's get these things out of the way, right? There we go, and I think, are we ready? Let's see, I know I'm gonna need that little guy for my little sprigs, right? Definitely gonna need, I'm gonna flip those over too. So I love using that little guy. So I don't get adhesive all over things that I don't want adhesive on, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with our designer series paper. So I piled everything up on top of like my scissors and adhesive and stuff, and it's not very easy to find anything now. Not so smart. Okay, here we go. We have our designer series paper. I love that wood grain pattern too, right? But I really love, I love that, right? It's kind of very like vintage, like shabby chic looking there. Let's pull this back into view too so we know what we are doing, right? Next, we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our big circle. There we go. Okay, peel these babies off. <laughs> these little backings are kind of being a little funny. Okay, I think we got sticky on all of those. Okay, so we are gonna put that one right about there. Next, we are going to bring this back in. We're going to put some adhesive on those in a second. We're going to also, so this is pretty cool too, right? So this is the back side of that designer series paper. Yes, it is gorgeous, isn't it, Linda? It's one of my favorites. The stripes are super popular, but I love, I mean, all of the wood grain is um, really cool, actually. So, okay, so I tried to kind of... Um, not put adhesive on like the ends because I kind of liked how these like give a little dimension there, kind of curl those up a little bit, right? Okay, now let's see. Next, I'm going to say I did um, this little, the jute trim, right? So this one is in, why can I never remember this color? Um, Hold on, it's right here. So I'm going to look at it and I know I'm going to, yeah. Pebbled path. I'm going to know it as soon as I look at it, right? But for whatever reason, the name tends to like escape me. So I'm going to kind of just do the loop and tack method, right? So we're going to just kind of loop, loop and tack things through here. And then kind of trim that off. Okay, let's see. Next. We are gonna put some dimensionals. Oops, these are funny. They keep um, like pulling the backing off another one that's still on the little sheet. So then I gotta try to find which one is that. <laughs> Otherwise it sticks to everything. Okay, so we got that, we got that. We are going to put a little bit of adhesive on these little spriggy guys. We're gonna put like one there. You guys can see what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna put one there. And then we're gonna add our sentiment. You are amazing in every single way. Okay, and then lastly, we are going to add, what are these called? These are the adhesive backed metallic gems. So I just thought after I put this together, I'm like, oh, we just need a little, a little bling, a little sparkle. And I thought the kind of bronzy ones were very pretty. They kind of added nicely. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad that you like this card. Did I? I'm trying to see. There is a, it's almost like I can see a glue dot there, but. 
maybe not. And then that one right there. So there we go. Card number one, simple yet beautiful as always. I think the designer series paper <laughs> is the star of the show, but yes, Miss Linda Bling is king. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so funny. I'm with you. I completely agree. Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to scoot this stuff out of the way so I don't get myself. Oh, you know what? I forgot though. Let's put adhesive on this little guy. So again, there's the one side, right? Yes. A lot of interesting colors and textures. Okay. So there's that one. So I just want to add, I'm going to put my little leaf with apparently a dimensional backing as well. So there we go. Okay, so now we've got project number one complete. All right, let's get this stuff. There we go. Okay, next project we have, I'm going to show you this one. Again, features the Changing Leaves bundle. So you can see I die cut and embossed and then we die cut there, we use the stamp, and then this is another one of the little um, label dies right there in that stamps or in that die set, right? Along with some little polka dot trim and on the inside, so here's that stamp that I was talking about from the stamp set that's pretty darn serious, right? When you use a dark color like early espresso, if we use something lighter, it wouldn't be quite as powerful, but I thought very, very cool too. Okay, so let me tell you about this card. I actually, so I was kind of looking for ideas, popped onto Pinterest, and there was a project designed by a friend of mine named Jennifer Hill that was very similar to this. So I will say that I kind of loosely cased my card, kind of changed up a little bit, but the basic like bottom part of the format is definitely um, Jennifer's idea. So I want to give credit to her and say thank you. I loved, I think she used either a white or an early espresso base, and I wanted to add a little pop of color. She was going monochromatic, and I wanted to add a little pop, so I am, ended up going with the peach pie, one of our new in colors. So that is our peach pie cardstock. Oh, forgot to mention earlier, all of the details, the colors, products, item codes, dimensions, everything you need to know to order and recreate these products will be on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So if you want to know how to make this card, all the details will be there. Okay, so Peach pie cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our nice tall. I love the tall cards. Those are my, those are my go-to. Love, love, love those. Here is a piece of designer series paper. I also picked uh, the peach pie because I thought I saw a little bit of peach pie in. And then clearly, I don't, I think maybe they, they call this pretty in pink or er, petal pink. Um, but I decided I wanted to use peach. Again, so four by five and a quarter. That's going to go right there. Also on the inside, same size, four by five and a quarter. That's going to go right there, right? Then we have another piece of peach pie cardstock. This one measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And one more piece of kind of coordinating designer series paper. I think of that as like white birch, right? This one is three by four, and that's going to layer on there. Okay, then we also have pieces of crumb cake, basic white, and early espresso for our stamping, embossing, and die cutting. Okay, so let's see. Let's do our stamping. We have a couple of little things to stamp. So we're going to do our thank you on our scrap of white, and then we're going to do this one. And where is, oh, here's the stamp to it. Okay, do, 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 do. here we go. I think we're ready to go, right? Okay, so let's do our thank you first. So we're using early espresso ink. I'm gonna stamp that one right there. That's pretty, isn't it? I like that. I like that font too. Okay, then on the inside, we're gonna, you guys see I'm doing nice easy tap, tap, tap because you don't need ink all over everywhere. You only need ink on your stamp, right? So most people are really aggressive in their inking and you don't need to be. Okay, so there's that one. And then lastly, I'm going to show you this big leaf here, right? We're going to just stamp it right down. There we go. In the corner. 
There we go. Cool though, huh? So you can imagine in a lighter color. Um, yeah, very, very vibrant. And let's see, I think, do I have, somewhere I had my chamois thingy. Yeah, here we go. Because I don't want to get early espresso ink all over places that I don't need it, right? So we're going to just kind of do that and clean that off. Then we're all ready to go, right? Okay, let's get that stamp out of the way too. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. We are going to do our die cutting and embossing now, right? Okay, so let me bring this back in, okay? Doo -doo -doo. That one, that one, that one. Okay, so we're going to, we've got this one here. We've got this one. I'm going to use one of these leaves. I'm going to use this circle. And I thought I had die cut another hmm, somewhere. If not, we'll do another one. I thought I had already... Um, die cut a leaf there too, but it's probably here, but if you could see the crafter math that has already happened <laughs> on this table, on the outside edges that maybe you can't see. Yes, the fall leaf cards are so pretty, aren't they, Linda? I know, always, um, it's funny, because I think, for me anyway, just kind of like go, 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 go all summer, and then um, not, totally unhappy if um you know when fall kind of comes and you have to sit on the couch and watch football <laughs> you know it's kind of like a good excuse to just sit in and relax okay so there's one leaf here is our thank you right and then all those little bits but that's okay and I guess I'll figure out in a moment if I have my other oh I thought maybe I found it but no <laughs> I don't, well, we'll see. We might just put one leaf on and then I'll find the other one later because I know I will. In the meantime, we are going to scoot these things out of the way and we need these instead. So we are going to do our die cutting and embossing all in one. So if you guys remember, I showed you, we've got, let's see. This is going to go right on that. I'm kind of doing it the back, backwards way, but it does so the ridges fit right in there. And then we're going to lay this down, close that up, and then I'm going to get those three leaves is what I'm looking for. And I'll show you what happens. This is just so cool. I love like the die cutting and embossing in one. Okay. So here you can kind of see that side of things, right? Ooh, isn't that cool? And can you see all the texture too? So you could have lots of fun. If you didn't want to die cut these, this would all be right on your paper, right? But so we've got this one right here, and then this is what's left. You could always have some fun with this um, another way. There's that little guy right there. And pop that one out. And then there's that one right there too. So, very, very cool, huh? Okay, let's scoot this out of the way. I know I saw, I'm like all distracted, because I know that I saw the other leaf at some point, and it's probably like right here in front of my face, and for whatever reason, I can't see it. But So that's one of them. Anyway, that's okay. We are going to put things together, and I keep, there it is. I was just, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm going to find it. Okay, so let's put this guy on the inside, since I'm looking at this right now. Okay. Ah, that's good, Linda, so you're feeling better and up to making things. That's awesome to hear. I know in the beginning when you're not feeling very well, right? It's like you don't want to be doing much of anything, right? So good. I'm glad you're recovering and feeling better from your surgery. Okay, so I put that extra leaf right there, and then we're going to just kind of trim that off. Okay, and then let's flip that back, and we'll kind of check out this side, the outside of the card, right? 
There we go. Okay. I have adhesive on my finger from when I advance it, and there we go. Now I've got it off. Okay, so we're going to add this piece right here. We're going to add... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling good, Miss Linda. That's awesome. Okay, and we're going to add this little piece of designer series paper in here. And this is a very standard layout, I would say, too, where you add a piece of cardstock or maybe embossed, well, maybe embossed cardstock or DSP that measures the four by five and a quarter. Um, this is a great way to use your designer series paper with the three by four size because you can make multiples of them without any waste and then add a little frame with a three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So very uh, good standard layout, I would say, too. Okay, so there is something. These things, it's like they didn't quite get um, cut down through all the way, so they keep peeling <laughs> keep peeling some extra backings off as I take them out, but that's all right. Okay, there we go. So which way? Do you guys ever do that? Like, is this, is this better or is this better? I think that's better. <laughs> I don't, you know, there's something about those little wood grain things there that was making me think that. Um, let's bring this guy back in too, right? Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive on all of these things. Okay, there's that one and that one. Okay, so I just like to, I only like to put it kind of on the ends there so that um, you can kind of curl the rest or have it like a little more free floating, I guess I'd say, right? There we go. All right, so we're gonna add this little baby first, right there. And then maybe put that one right there. And we'll put that one there, that one there. And then let's see, right, we're gonna put that one there. But we also need a little strip of our designer, or not our designer series paper, but our, um, what's this called? This is the dotted, <laughs> the polka dot ribbon. Right, so we're going to just kind of run that right there, and then if it's a little bit long, you can always kind of trim it after the fact. There we go, and then we're going to put some dimensionals, which I just had them here, they go right here. Okay, put a couple of dimensionals behind our sentiment, okay, with our little Thank you, right there. And then again, right, because Linda and I, oh, Stormy, no barking, um, say that bling is king. And these are beautiful. So these are called the Pecan Pie and Clear. Sorry, Stormy. Oh, These are the ribbon adhesive backed dots. So can you see they've got, it's kind of like little like ribbon, I don't know, swirls or squiggles. Um, inside there inside the dots can you guys see that here if i bring that right up there now you can kind of see it can't you aren't those cool i think they're very pretty so this is um another online exclusive uh-oh man there's somebody in our hood that stormy needs to protect <laughs> to protect us from <laughs> oh my gosh he gets so riled up like you can't be walking by my house people <laughs> Okay, sorry, <laughs> like dog talking. Okay, so there we go, our second project. Oh, love that, right? The designer series paper, the embossing folder, love that embossing folder, right? Isn't that so cool? The dies, the stamp set, all so lovely. And as always, our quick recap, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, love to make sure you know this, that you will get both of these projects as a thank you from me when you order online. Place at least a $50 order using our host code, this J-M-S-B-W-H-B-S. You're going to get these projects. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win this fabulous prize, the iconic imagery stamp set, right? And then you also get to pick from our demo design dream team 16 project tutorial or the free embellishment as a thank you for your order. So always lots of good stuff. 
truly appreciate you ordering through me using that host code. It's what helps me keep doing these Facebook Lives every Friday that I can. So thank you guys so much. Um, hopefully your August is off to a good start. You have a great weekend and we will see you back here two weeks from today. I'm glad you guys enjoyed these cards. Thank you so much. Bye everybody.